Hello, 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 my Libras. It's Prado G, and I'm here with a general collective reading for your sign, the seventh sign out of the zodiac cycle and the second air sign of the zodiac cycle. Welcome. If your birthday is between September 23rd and October 22nd, you are the very persuasive, charming, harmonious sign of Libra, the sign of balance, the sign of the scales, the sign of justice, law, period. What's up, y'all? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are here for the first time, kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Welcome to our first meet and greet. I'm so honored to have you here and thank you for giving this video a chance. Clearly, you clicked on it because you were attracted to this video. Um, the energy was calling you. This is meant for you. You are here for a reason, period. So understand that. Let's get in tune with our intuition and take what resonates for you. Leave behind what does not. Also, welcome back. If you are here again, Libras, if you've been watching the Libra Reads on this channel prior to this one, thank you so much for returning because clearly we have a connection and you feel the connection. You feel the essence, the energy. And I want you to know that I love you so much and I appreciate all of your support. May this message supports you and find you well in some way, shape, or form. Take what does resonate for you. Leave behind what doesn't. This is general and collective for the sign of Libra. Now, we're going to start this reading off as usual with the significant number and the important chakra. All right. So the chakra of focus right now is giving root chakra, is giving root chakra vibes. It's something about this energy, this color that's giving me soil. So making sure that you are understanding the connection that you have with this world. Of course, you are part of this earth plane, but you are a spiritual being having a physical earthly experience. So just know the greater aspect of who you are is spirit, the divine. With this number 15 showing up, it's giving me devil energy. So I do feel a heavy sense of ego and someone's pride being in the way, making sure that you are confident and secure in your own spiritual connections right now could be very important for you, Libra. Shout out to all of my, uh, excuse me, October 6th and October 15th, babies. Yes, with this number 15 showing up, 15 does reduce to the number six, and that is a very balanced number. You know, just you got three and three. It's just like weighing the scales out, the balance, right? So with this number six showing up, I do feel that there, there's going to be some major improvement, some sort of healing. That's what you're experiencing right now. It's like your life is a constant improvement. That's what I'm feeling right now. Like you're making major improvements at this time in your life and you should be very proud of yourself. I feel like you're undergoing a major healing of the ego or some sort of toxic beliefs that, you know, like, you know, you're just getting rid of the toxicity, the the mental imprisonment or the people that has been holding you back, the things that have been holding you back at this time. I feel you are making major moves forward, improvement improvement and movement rhyme period so it's like just stay in that place of, of allowing your spirit to move right being a free spirit I'm, I'm here some of you could be free spirits but i do feel this energy of something really rewarding around your vibration right now it's like you're receiving some sort of rewards with this number with this energy or something very rewarding is taking place or about to take place in your life to the point where it's like you have so much support you're going to be receiving a lot of support if you have been feeling as though you have been lacking support you're about to be receiving a lot more of it and i feel like this is spiritual support which is going to lead to support in this physical realm greater support and you're going to be in the position to help support others because you have healed you have made the necessary improvements so let's get into this reading starting off with the light message for my Libra. The number 15 is standing out to me too. You might have, uh, I'm getting 15 years of marriage for somebody. I don't know. Somebody's been married for 15 years. Someone can have a 15 year old child. 
or something about you being where we're in your city or state for 15 years. I'm picking up this vibe and I feel like at this time, somebody could definitely be moving into a, a, a more supportive environment. Well, I just want one light message for Libra's spirit. Thank you so much. One light message for my lovely Libras. We got soul journey. See, that's what I was saying about movement. It's like you're moving. You're on the move right now. There's something about you making a move. Your soul is on a journey. So, you know, <laughs> just like any journey, it's about progress. It's about motion. It's not about stagnation. And your soul does not desire to be stagnant and stuck in one area. Your soul wants to evolve. Your soul wants to move on. And I feel that this is where you are at in your life right now, Libra, where it's all about just moving on and allowing your soul to be free. Because you, freedom is our birthright. Freedom is in our nature. We all desire to be free. So I feel that at this time, Libra, you're experiencing something to the point where it's like you're setting your soul free or your soul is being set free. You're not, a, you're not stuck in these specific limitations anymore or feeling as though your physical body is a limitation. Uh, so... Let's get into the message of this card. It says you are ready to start. A new chapter is beginning for you right now. This time, go easy on yourself. Be the courageous, loving being you are. Breathe into the present moment and allow any anxieties to drop away. Enjoy the journey and stop thinking the future will bring something better. When the future arrives, it will be now. Step out of the shadow of your past. All that matters is what you decide to do from this moment. Your life is yours to live in whatever way is meaningful to you. You brought yourself to this life and you are responsible for the quality of it. Trying to understand your reason for coming here will just hold you back. Just remember, everything you have done was the best thing to do at that time or you thought it was. As you move forward, you will understand your motives. Experience allows you to better handle crisis. Mm, let's say that again. Experience allows you to better handle crisis. You are now deliberately creating a new chapter in your life. You are such an amazing pioneer. So every dream begins with a step. I feel like right now, Libra, you are just making steps towards moving forward. And it's not about the past anymore. It's not about what it is that you have been through because ultimately what it is that you have been through has led you to where you are right now. And where you are right now is the most important factor. Where You can only do anything in your life right now. You can't do anything past. Like you can't do, the past is the past. It's already done and the future is formulating right here, right now. OK, like what this now moment is turning into the past. So it's about being present in the moment and understanding that you were brought here to create your life, not to regurgitate it. Right. No regurgitation. Okay, no, I'm going to start off this reading with the TBD, the TBD deck and see what the basis of focus is here for my Libras on this soul journey. I know this physical experience can be very challenging. And it comes with highs and it comes with lows. And sometimes we just don't know. But what you do know is that you have a connection to spirit, everything, every aspect of this physical reality does so it's all about you tapping into your soul as you move forward and not being soulless not feeling like you have no purpose or like there's no reason behind what's going on we got fun or party wow so yeah soul journey it's like you came here to have fun you came here to party it's not just about that but look we got light eyes i feel like there's something about 
you meeting someone, you could possibly be meeting somebody at a party or when you're having fun, you're going to attract people who bring the light out into your eyes. There's something about enlightenment, I feel. Something about you shining, you having a sparkle or a twinkle in your eye. But this comes from you having more fun in your life or taking some time out to party and celebrate. Celebrate your journey, Libra. You've been through a lot. And then we got self-sabotage showing up here. So I feel like this is what you're healing at this time. These are the improvements that you are making. I feel like no more sabotaging yourself by um, destroying your body, destroying being in destructive relationships or even destructive mental patterns, angel guidance or angel numbers. So pay attention to the repeat numbers that you might be seeing right now in your life. 111, 222, 777, 888, 1212, 1010, 1111. Those angel numbers have messages behind them. So you may benefit by when you see those numbers, search it up on Google and see what messages you come across and see what resonates for you. Because I feel like that you're getting divine guidance at this time. These are synchronicities that are showing up in your life to help guide you or give you some source of encouragement or empowerment throughout your soul journey. But look, fun, fun or party and self-sabotage. So of course you want to find that balance between fun and party. I feel like some of you come from a past where you have always just partied and have fun, but it's like in the process of doing that, you might have been suppressing your soul, you know, by engaging in toxic behaviors. Maybe you've been partying around um, people that just weren't really good for your soul or doing things that weren't good for your soul, like drinking all the time, eating bad food or... Um, you know, t doing substances, whatever the case may be, because, you know, it's your life. How you want to party is how you want to party. <laughs> but it's um, also important for you to realize that you can have fun and you can party without destroying your body, without sabotaging yourself. It's possible. Maybe you don't know that. Maybe you're not used to that, but it's a way for you to get out and celebrate. And maybe it's a time for you to, like, find groups of people or different people that know how to have fun and party in different ways. So I definitely feel like self-sabotage is trying to show up in your experience moving forward. But this is something I feel like you might need some support with. Like you might need some help, maybe seeing a therapist or being around a different group of people that don't sabotage themselves. You know, you got to make that commitment, though, to your soul that I'm tired of sabotaging myself and I really want to work on this. I really want to improve this. It's always your choice, right? You got free will. Nobody can make you do anything that you don't want to do. It has to be your conscious decision, your own conscious choice, and your actions. All right, let's get into this energy for my lovely Libras. What's going on here? Fun or party? Tell me about this. Fun or party for my... Libras. Final party for Libras. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. What is this about? Okay, we got hunger showing up. And it's in reverse. So I feel like <laughs> with this hunger card showing up here, there's something that you're really craving. And I feel like there's something very fulfilling for you. There's something really fulfilling for you. I feel like um, whatever it is that you're eating at this time, I was saying something about bad food. I remember that. Um, I feel like the food, whatever it is that you're eating right now, it might be causing disrupt disruption within your body here. And it's like a pattern, I feel, that you might have to change. There might There's really something around your, your eating habits here that I feel... Um, might need a little bit of tweaking. That doesn't mean that you have to completely cut off the type of foods that you um, enjoy eating. But I feel here that you desire something that is going to truly fill you up, but give you the energy necessary to really have fun in your life. Because, you know, when we eat these toxic foods, yes, it feels good in the moment and, and at the time. But when we wake up or maybe a few minutes or even hours later, we feel tired. It's like, I'm drained. I don't really have no energy to get up and do anything. And that becomes a cycle and a pattern in your life where it's like, you're not really enjoying life. 
because you don't really have the necessary, you don't have the energy. Also, um, with the hunger card, I feel like there's some, this is something I feel you're craving more fun in your life. You're craving to have, you know, some more celebration in your life. But it's also like you might have to clean, um, clean your plate. Cleaning that plate. We got balance showing up here in reverse. Yeah, so there's definitely an imbalance here. And it's okay because you can consciously bring yourself back. And first of all, you're the sign of balance. So when you choose to focus on balancing out whatever it is in your life, like balanced meals, balanced breakfast, um, or having an equal balance of, you know, yeah, you get to indulge in the things that you want to indulge in, but it comes a time too where you might need to relax on that, you know, give yourself some time to detoxify or uh, flush your, your system. I do feel here though that there's a um, this balance energy is definitely showing me that there's an imbalance when it comes to like your fun or party, and maybe you're having too much fun and not taking your life serious enough or your soul journey. And then some of you might be taking the soul journey too serious and not having enough fun. So take it how it resonates for you. But I do feel that there's an imbalance here and there's something that you're really craving. It's like you're indulging in something that might be giving you a sense of sati temporary satisfaction. But is it really long lasting? Is it really bringing you that stability that you're looking for? Also, I'm seeing here, too, somebody could be spending a lot of money on partying, going out to clubs or, like, food that ain't really serving you. So, we got cleanse showing up here, too. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit, for the divine message. Yes, there's a cleanse that is needed right now. There's some toxicity. There's some gunk that needs to be released here with the cleanse card showing up in reverse. I feel like you got to do a deep dive here. Somebody could be wanting to get baptized or somebody hasn't been baptized or there's some sort of spiritual bath I feel could be very beneficial to you at this time. It's like kind of like washing away your sins is what I'm hearing or washing away that old toxic version of you being in water with the intention of cleansing your aura and cleansing your spirit is going to help you release this self-sabotage. But I feel like there's definitely some cleaning up to do. There's some toxicity here that needs to be released. You're, you need a cleanse, baby. You need to drink some more water. Water. Eating cleaner foods. Maybe incorporating some more uh, fruits and vegetables or into your diet. Um, but yeah, there's definitely just some sort of mess here. I feel like this could also involve like, uh, cleaning your life up in terms of like your relationships and the people that you're dealing with. You might need to do a, uh, a people cleanse, right? A relationship cleanse, like, especially if you have a bunch of toxic relationships. Um, also somebody could be desiring to clean their house, like a deep clean, the cracks and crevices of your house, you might really need to like cleanse out toxic energies from your house here too. But ultimately, I feel like this is speaking to your mind. Your mind, you need to, your mind needs a cleanse right now. Your soul, your energetic body is desiring a cleanse. What else we got here for my lovely Libra? But yeah, when you clean things up, I mean, like, you really show how much you care about yourself by keeping shit clean, right? Like, it's just like, if you, like, you clean your car, we love cleaning our cars, we love cleaning our wigs, we love cleaning our clothes, all of that, but because we really care about it, right? We want it to look good, we want it to, we want to feel good and fresh and clean, that's the same thing that your soul is desiring. Your soul is desiring a cleanse right now. What else we got here? We got mystery. So yeah, I feel like once you exp once you go through this cleanse, 
life won't feel so much like a mystery now those colors are lining up here look at that this look like the same color on that that number 15 ball this is a mystery something unknown to you it's like the future is unwritten that's what i'm hearing it's like the future is a mystery like you really don't know how things are going to turn out but that shouldn't make you afraid and i feel sometimes we, just because we don't know what's coming just because you don't know what's coming sometimes you might sabotage a situation like you just don't you don't know it's like i don't know what is this going to do for me like you might be fearing here with this mystery card because i know a lot of us we're afraid of the unknown like you're afraid of the unknown but spirit is saying at this time you want to be cautious but you don't want to be overly cautious like you want to you want to be cautious of how you are treating yourself but you don't want to be overly cautious about moving forward as long as you're moving forward and making strides and steps to move forward into the future even though you don't know what's to come out of this you just got to have that clean mentality is remove those toxic thoughts because that's going to bring you something unwanted in the future so it's like you know cleanse that mind here baby because you're you're tapping into the unknown i also feel like something about you is a mystery there's something about you that is waiting to be revealed spirit is trying to reveal something to you however you're not going to be able to receive what it is you're not going to be able to receive the revelation if there's so much toxicity clouding your mind or took so much toxicity in your environment. But the, the future you is a mystery. Like, <laughs> Libra, the future you is a mystery. It's a mystery. Like, we don't know. You don't know what spirit has in store for you. You don't know, like, on your soul journey, like, it's just like, you just got to keep pushing forward. You don't know what greatness is waiting ahead. But I do feel that once again, it's something it's about it's something that's going to be to your benefit here, especially with this number 15 showing up That number 15 is definitely giving me uh, once again, it's like you're healing. You're seeing improvement. You're moving into a place. where things are getting better for you. So don't sabotage this. All right. What else we got here? Wow. So this came up. Hmm. It wanted to show up in, in reverse. I mean, it showed up upright and then it flipped upside down. This nine of water. Somebody could definitely be dealing with a Pisces or someone who like to drink a lot. It's definitely giving drinking vibes with this nine of cups. Nine shots. <laughs> somebody that go out to the club and don't know how to uh contain their alcohol nine of water or the, the, don't know their limits it's like you got to know your limits here but with this nine of water i feel like this is some sort of unsatisfaction like once again the nine of cups i was saying something is like something that you're indulging in ain't really truly bringing you the happiness that you're looking for and um it's almost like you feel like your dreams or the things that you're wishing for are out of reach, but it's because of um, it's because of an imbalance here. Emotionally, I feel like there's something that you have going on on an emotional level that is causing you to party all the time and not really address your emotions, which ultimately you're never going to really be emotionally satisfied or happy um if you won't address your emotions if you can't sit with them and try to really understand them and elevate them because yeah you want to understand how you feel on the emotional level but you also want to be in a position to elevate it right so that requires a certain level of stability but i do feel that you could be experiencing um some sort of disappointments something in the past might have disappointed you it could have been an emotional relationship that you had with um a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Something that was just really out of balance here. Realizing that something 
that you were indulging in was not as cracked up as you thought it was, right? It wasn't, it wasn't really what it was that you was looking for, period. But there's something here, like there's definitely, there's happiness to come from this situation. But it's balance that's required emotionally. Look, wow, the number 15 came out, Libra. I'm telling you, spirit is speaking. And I was saying about the ego, that ego energy. You're going through a major transformation right now, but I feel that some of you are really having a hard time with this transformation. You don't want it, and I feel like you're trying to avoid it. Some of you are really trying to avoid this. It's like you don't want to let go of certain toxicities. Like, I don't know, like you're just comfortable in certain toxic patterns, and that's okay because, you know, I can attest to that. I can relate to that. We all as humans have our ways that we are set in. But these are illusions. It's like you got to be able to see through the illusions, Libra, right? Don't be so dependent on these things that's keeping you limited. Look at this. This cage is open. It's like you're the bird inside of the cage. You're free to go or you could stay. You can stay right where you are in this comfort zone that's really not bringing you the fulfillment that you want. This bird wants to be free, right? I don't know any bird that wants to be trapped in a cage. They have wings for a reason. You got these wings so that you can soar to new heights, so that you can elevate, so that you can see the world, so that you can get out get out, and be more than what it is that you could ever be sitting in this, this stagnant environment. But it's like the ego. I feel like somebody's ego is holding them back. You're stuck in some sort of illusions that make you feel as though you can't be free from something. But I feel like you're you're being set free. This is an opportunity for you to free yourself from dependency. Somebody could have a, an addiction to material gain. It's like... Uh, it could just be all about money or appearances here. That's what I'm seeing with the ego. It's like, especially when it comes to your emotional relationships, you want to ask yourself, like, why, excuse me, why am I with this person? Is it because of how they make me feel emotionally or is it because how they look? Is it the aesthetic that they bring to my life? Is it about the money, money, money? Is it about the, the materials, the glitz and glams, the way they dress? Like, what is it really? Because that's all egoic. And it's like your soul sees beyond that. Your soul does not limit itself based on what's showing up in this material realm. Oh, that was way too much. But, um... Yeah, this ego, this is like an ego check right now. You got to bring your ego back into balance because ultimately we always going to have an ego. We're always going to have these. We have to live by the illusions of this, this physical realm, but you got to understand the illusions for what they are and don't allow them to necessarily hold you back, right? We got the seven of earth. See, this is, this is you taking your time, doing the groundwork here. Um, I feel like this is... You investing in your health here. This is what's needed right now, Libra. You taking the time to be patient with yourself as you detoxify, as you detoxify your life, as you cleanse your life. It's going to take some time, right? This is not um, something that happens overnight here with the seven of earth, but it's something that takes consistent effort. And the more energy and time you invest in this, the more results that you will start to see. But Spirit is saying, do not sabotage this because sometimes we don't see the results that we want right away. Like say, for example, you start to detox your life and change up your diet. You might feel annoyed at first because it's like, damn, like I'm doing all this work and it's not giving me the fulfillment I need, but it's like, you'll start to feel the energy changes and the shifts in your mentality when you consecutively put in the work. But patience is definitely needed here. I feel like sometimes, Libra, you are not patient enough, so you end up sabotaging situations just because they're not working as fast as you want it to. But yeah, Spirit is asking you to be patient with yourself. Be patient. Be patient with your life. Like, this is the ultimate investment here. This is the ultimate investment. Investing in yourself. Investing in your life. Improving your life. 
you will receive the fruits of your labor. But you might have to assess some things. Look, we got the five of earth here too. So I'm definitely seeing material. It's about money here. Some Somebody's money. Somebody's money is funny or your health right now. And it's like, it's become, it's coming from this place of lack. It's in the mind. It starts in the mind. Spirit is saying, listen, you know, you gotta, ooh, you gotta get up and make some different moves. It's like, you gotta open up in some way, shape or form um, <laughs> and give your all. Not, and when I mean give your all, I mean give your all to you. Give your all to you and your cause at this time. It's like, stop holding back here. Because with this four of earth, this woman, she's definitely holding back something of great value here. And it's like, what more do you, what else can you value more than yourself for real? Because without yourself, you can't have any experience of anything else. So, um, wow, that's so crazy. The nine of water showed up here too. And this soul journey card was the number nine. You got nine and 15 showing up twice. So the shout out to all of my September Libras. Big, big September Libra energy right here. But with this five of earth spirit is saying like, don't worry. Like this is not the time to worry. Like when you start to feel worried, when you start to feel worried or like you're lacking something, this is an indicator that you gotta, you gotta tap into the divine. You gotta call on assistance. Like literally ask the divine for some physical assistance. Like everything starts from you connecting with the divine, the mysterious. You know, they say the universe works in mysterious ways. God works in mysterious ways, period. So if you feel like you've been lacking, I feel like there's going to be some assistance coming your way. However, you got to ask for it or you got to put yourself in that energetic frequency to know that, all right, if I desire assistance, I know the divine knows, you know, God knows what you need. And you just got to believe that it's coming. You you can't lack or you can't be in this place of worrying and thinking, oh, what if it don't happen? Or what if we're, what if, what if, you know, those negative, that's what you need to cleanse right now. You need to cleanse out that toxicity, the, those limited thinking. It's like a door, a door is opening for you. You need to cleanse out that negative thinking, remove that worry or stress. Stop destroying what the what God has in store for you. But I do feel that this is coming from an imbalance here. There's something that um you need some assistance with. You need some help, and it's okay. If you need some help, definitely call on the divine to bring you the assistance that you need. Hopefully you're getting assistance from this video right now. Um it's just like I feel like you're struggling with believing in your own abilities to pro to progress forward, and it's and it's okay. It's all right. It's natural. You just know that you got some cleaning up to do. You just got some cleaning up to do, baby. And don't beat up on yourself for it. Like, don't beat up on yourself for that. Like, you don't deserve that. Like, what you deserve, what you deserve is to enjoy your life. You deserve to be the best version of yourself. So put your money where your mouth is. Um, definitely invest in yourself because you are your greatest asset. And the way you can, the way you invest in yourself, first and foremost, is in your mind, right? Starting off with those thoughts. It's like you got to plant those seeds. You got to plant those seeds of positivity. And remove those negative weeds or anything that's blocking your mind. Because the first thing that I picked up on in this reading was that soil energy. So don't forget your mind is like a garden, right? Your mind is like a garden, a fertile soil. And it's up to you to plant whatever seeds you desire into that soil. It's up to you to take care of that soil or to ignore it or to taint it and mistreat it, right? Oh, shoot.
Some of y'all might be needing to ask for help on how to like asking the divine to give you that encouragement or help to remove people out of your life. Like, I feel like somebody's at your doorstep or people, it's like you're going to have to either close the door on some folks because they're bringing that lack and worry into your life and they're not really being of much assistance to you. So, all right. Look, everyone's a teacher. That's the card that came out for you. This is the affirmation card. We're going to close out this reading after this. But listen, everyone's a teacher, including yourself. You are always the teacher and the student, right? We all came here to learn from one another who we are and who we are not and what life is about on different levels. So even when you were dealing with... Um, people that you feel have hurt you or that were not good for you, they taught you what it is that you actually deserve or what it is that you have been allowing or accepting into your life. And at the end of the day, you're also teaching people how to treat you, right? Yes, we are all doing that. We all teach people how to treat us based on how we treat ourselves. So everyone's a teacher. Everyone I cross paths with is a teacher in that moment. The ones who give me the fun lessons are the ones I call friends. The ones who give me the hard lessons I sometimes call a-holes. They've chosen a tough job, but someone's got to do it. So today I'm thanking all the a-holes. <laughs> Thank you, a-holes, for playing your part in making me a better person. So it's like, yeah, you deal, you dealing with, sometimes you're going to meet some assholes, but they're teaching you who who you are in the moment are you going to turn into an asshole because they're an asshole or are you going to maintain your vibe and elevate and still project positivity and move forward right are you going to allow their toxicity to rub off on you are you secure in your own optimism and positivity and knowing yourself they're going to teach you they're going to show you if you is or not life experience life is constantly teaching us who we are so this is what i have for you my lovely libras hopefully you resonated with this on some level if you did don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up if you vibe subscribe and comment below in the comment section if you want to be a part of the community and communicate with me i'm always here for that I always love a good expression of appreciation. I appreciate you all so much. And until next time, peace, love, and prosperity.